Hey guys, welcome back to the Dome Speed Shop. So today we're going to replace the coolant sensor on my 2015 Silverado. Maybe real, real tornadoes. Let's check it out. All right, so you're going to pop the hood. You're going to go, whoa, well, what's all this? Where's my carburetor? Well, it's not a 1980 anymore. Fuel injection, a whole lot of it. So we're going to start with removing the airbox. Then once we get the airbox out of the way, We'll find that pesky coolant sensor. All right, so we get the airbox out of the way. Looking around, and right there is your coolant sensor. This guy will make the fans run continually, make your AC not work properly, heat not work right. Bunch of symptoms that come with this, but it's right there. Now, if you want to do this the right way, you can drain some of the antifreeze down. So you don't make an environmental spill, irritate the EPA. Pay attention to EPA regulations, guys. Don't make messes. Clean up after yourselves. Keep the environment a little greener. So yeah, let's unplug this and uh, swap it out. And press the change to a new sensor in. Um, comes out relatively easily. You don't need to put any uh, silicone or anything to seal it up. It's got a washer on it to help seal it up. Check your antifreeze level and make sure it's all working properly. And while you're in here, kind of glance at stuff, look at your belt, look at your water pump and everything, look for seepage. The worst thing to do is replace a part. I think it's all set to set good to go you're gonna come back in here in two days and replace a part that you thought was questionably okay sort of kind of good not really and then you're replacing it again and you see your old your new friend again going hey buddy remember me so yeah i hope that help, helped you guys change out the coin sensor and make a quick repair have a good one